artificial intelligence. We get a lot of questions about that. We even earlier this year in 2024 decided we needed to add a paragraph or sentence or two to our contracts. And we have it written in our contracts that we're all for artificial intelligence for research. But once you start using that artificial intelligence verbatim, like word for word in your writing, red flags will go up both on Amazon and on Ingram, which, who are publisher, printing, and distributor, retailer people. They have bots that are out there and they're watching for plagiarism. They're watching for any kind of hint that this copy may be already published in another area. We've even had authors who have been in our anthologies and perhaps they have used part of their chapter that they may have used in a different anthology with us. And we've had little red flags go up that say, are you sure this content is owned by this author. And it's not a difficult process, but you do have to get on the phone with Amazon and the and as the author and let them know that yes, you are the owner and then have proof available just in case they ask. So authors need to be wary of using AI. One, we don't want you to use or lose your unique voice. Copy that comes out of artificial intelligence is very structured. Uh, some people call it robotic. It can sound very generic. It can hide your authentic voice. And we want that voice to rise above and be heard. We've talked a bit about the plagiarism risks, but you do want to make sure that you're not using work that's been used someplace else. If it is your work, just rewrite it slightly so it doesn't create a red flag. Make sure that you have it documented any place that you've used it previously, if you're going to use it again in a book, you may want to add that to the copyright page even to say paragraph three on page 17 that appears in this book also appeared in and then name the name of the book that you previously used that information in. You also want to be concerned about your own personal skills and are just the fact that you're not using them, are you going to degrade or allow yourself to not become as skillful as you used to be. If you're constantly using other people's words and other people's research, what happens to your voice? That's just something to keep in mind as you're writing your own copy. The other thing to be concerned about is, as we all know, AI does their research from global resources. It, are those resources going to be biased? Is the information that they're going to be providing, is it ethical? Two more reasons to be thinking about why you should be wary of using AI. I'm Kathy Davis, Davis Creative Publishing. We're ghost publishers of solo books and anthologies. We do all the work and you get all the accolades.